In this video, I'll show you how I clean my pellet grill. Start off, just scrape some of the heavy stuff off. Whatever your last cook was. Depending on what you cooked last, you might want to take a scouring pad and just kind of hit it. Okay, then we'll remove our grills. Then we'll remove the baffle here. Okay, you can see this is after about three cooks or so. I removed this. You can see all that buildup of dust in there. Knock that off. There we go. I have an old paintbrush that I use. Just kind of brush everything together here. There, brush everything into a pile and remove that. I'm doing everything one-handed here because I'm holding the camera, but I normally clean that a little more too. But I'll clean all this up. Then we'll... There we go, that's better. Okay, after I brushed all the dust out, that's what I got left. Now, you can see all the grease will run down that baffle and come in this compartment and go to your drip bucket. So again, your drip bucket is something you're going to want to clean out after as well. Then I take my putty knife here and I give this a little bit of a scrape. Just get all the heavies off of it. Now I just take the garden hose and hose it all off. Okay, gonna reinstall the baffle plate here. Now I like to take a rag and some dish soap, get the rag nice and wet. Nice generous amount of dish soap on there, it acts like a degreaser. Go over some of that door there. While your rag's nice and clean, you do your door and your handle. shelf a nice wash okay and just kind of rinse it off with the water you got in your bucket Rinse stop pretty good. Tip your shelf down. Open your door. Okay. Here's where you do some of the inside. Do the door here. We got the lip of the door here done, all along the edges, and got all the door wiped down. Then give it a quick wash here. Gets its edge at the top here.
Inside, you'll see a thermostat back here. You want to make sure that's nice and clean. That's what reads your temperature, so give that a quick wipe. Okay, you give the inside a quick wipe. Just from all the grease kind of splashing and you know, overall clean. Give the inside lip here a wipe where the grill sit. Okay. See all the grills are back in. Close the lid. Now I got a little bit of vegetable oil in the spray bottle that I just spritz on here and give it a rub. Again, start with the door. Like I said, very light coating on the rag. Get the top of that shelf there a little bit. Okay, open the lid. Now, I like to give my grill grates just a little spritz inside. Like that. There we go. Give it a quick rub down. When I'm all done that, close the lid. We'll let this come up to temperature. Let it burn off for five, 10 minutes. Put it in cool down. This will take care of any moisture that's still in there. And it'll also get those oils just to adhere to everything. And you're good to go. All together, it took about five or 10 minutes. I hope this video helps you with your cleaning. And we'll see you in the next video.